So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the Pilot Friction Ball Knock Biz. It's a little bit of a confusing name, so I wanted to unpack that a little bit. Uh, there's Pilot, right? The well-known pen company. They make a line of erasable pens called the Friction. That's F-R-I-X-I-O-N series. The uh, Knock is that it's a retractable pen. The uh, Friction series is typically retractable, but they do have a few capped pens. And then the biz comes from the fact that erasable pens are typically aimed at students, so they're more affordable, kind of lower-end pens. Uh, but the biz line is the sort of metal executive line, the sort of higher-end. Prices go from you know 3 or $4 for a standard friction pen up to, for this one, about $22, $23, maybe $20 if it's on sale for the uh, friction ball knock biz. There have been some other biz pens from this line. So like uh, if you're searching around for it and you look for just the friction biz, you'll get an older pen that's no longer made. This is the <laughs> the friction ball knock biz. Uh, this is the box it came with. This is a 0.5 millimeter and not too much else to note here. Obviously there's an explanation of the fact that you can't push the top. You have to push the clip, which I know can confuse some people. And then, let's see, there's a retail price, so 2,000 Japanese yen. So again, about $20, $22 in the US. And then the top of this does have a little screw cap and you get that eraser. If you've used friction pens in the past, you know that this eraser is a hard rubber. It doesn't lose material the way a pencil eraser does. Rather, it creates friction and that friction creates heat, and the heat gets the ink, which is uh, thermosensitive, and as the ink gets hotter and hotter, it basically disappears. You can go ahead and put this, put the ink, you know, the paper in a freezer, and it can reappear, which is something that people have found with this ink, but basically that friction creates the heat, and it causes the erasing to happen. So let's get into this pen a little bit. Like I said, it's about a $22, $23 executive pen all metal hardware, metal top piece here, metal clip, metal front cone. So nice, has a nice weight to it. I would say it's a pretty good looking pen. Uh, it keeps some aspects that we would expect to see from the Friction series, like that sort of, uh, I don't know, that fancy italicized or whatever logo, maybe not italicized, but with that big X and those weird arrows around it. It's called the Friction Ball, which is, I guess, the proper name for the line. The Friction pens use this clip a lot, almost this exact clip. The cheap ones use it in plastic, and then the higher end one uses it in this metal here. In fact, here is a, I think this is just called the, oh yeah, this is the Friction Point Knock. This is another Japanese line friction pen, and this one was recently released in a 0.4 millimeter, so I picked it up. And this is kind of a more more standard friction pen, not the lowest end one, but it's a, I would say one of the better looking ones. This one has the same mechanism, has a really nice click to it, that same metal clip as you could see. This one doesn't include a top cap, which is not as fancy. This one has some rubber here. Uh, I believe this front piece is metal, uh, but this one does have, you'll notice, a uh, needle point tip where this one uses kind of a standard conical point. So back to the biz, definitely classy, definitely business friendly. It has that executive price point and the all metal design it has a little bit of extra weight as you'd expect from it being fully metal. You can take it apart and you can see nice metal front piece there. Spring comes with it. Here we have a standard friction refill. These are, it's similar in size to a Pilot G2 refill, but it's not quite the same. You'll notice it has a different top piece. It has this little, uh, I don't know if it's like a, has an interior triangle in there, whatever. It's just a cutout circle or a circle with some cuts in it. Uh, but that is how you would differentiate this from a, a standard Pilot G2 refill. And it doesn't really come apart past that. This front, this top piece doesn't come off. I don't think you could get at the clip. You can see, you know, the spring in there, but there's really not much else you could do past getting at this refill here. And I don't think the refill is replaceable, but you don't really have to replace the refill. This is a hard enough rubber that it doesn't really wear out. And then you don't even have to use it so much. Anything that can create some heat, some friction, then heat will work. 
to replace the sink. You just have to get, I think you have to hit 140 degrees or so. So nice action here. I would say I really like this uh, clip. Just works really well, has a really clean feel to it. It's very satisfying. I would say that is also true of the cheaper ones though. So don't buy it for the, the clip alone, but you can get that same thing from this, this maybe a four or five dollar pen. What you get with the executive one is you get kind of cleaner styling and it doesn't look like you're using a erasable pen. It looks like you're just using a standard or a, you know, kind of a nice pen. This writes as well as the rest of the friction line, which uh, I would say is actually pretty good. I've used the friction pens a lot in the past. You know, some, some periods of my life, I have to use them a whole lot and then I won't use them for a while. Then I'll revisit them. And they are, as far as erasable pens go, my definitely the best of the erasable pens that I've seen. They uh, far, far beat anything from any other brands, especially the uh, Uni Mitsubishi ones, which I would say are like way, way behind the friction. Those ones have nicer pen bodies, but they can't compete with this friction ink. I will say that the friction ink is, it's not a true black, it's definitely a lighter black. That's just a function of the erasable ink. So it, that kind of is what it is, but it does erase well. So it does its job and there's pretty limited marks left behind. You could definitely write over that area with no problems there. And the pen, the, the paper isn't, worn out or, or torn up in any way. It does a really good job like that. From a, just a general comfort standpoint, I would say this is a, a nice pen. Has a, has good weight, good distribution of the weight. This barrel is nice and comfortable. It's kind of this matte metal finish. It's better at picking up and not picking up grease marks and other things like that than some other ones. So basically pretty well designed. I'd like to see more of a grip area, but that's just me personally. I tend to see, like to see some sort of knurling or something like that. I really like the entry level grip, uh, entry level friction pens, like the friction point knock is probably my favorite or the friction ball knock, which is this in the standard conical point. Uh, I don't really need it, uh, the needle tip, but, uh, this line, this, or the series or this, this like uh, price point is where I tend to prefer my frictions. Uh, so a little bit cheaper, but you still have that nice clip and that nice click action. And these are replaceable. Like you can, uh, rep the ink, they're refillable, I guess. You could take this ink cartridge and buy these pretty cheap. You could buy a pack of three or six or whatever. As far as the 0.4 or 0 0.5, it's not really a giant difference. There are two or more or less interchangeable for me. See if you can even tell the difference between the two. That's the 0.4 and that's the 0.5. Uh, you know, maybe a slight, slight difference, but it's really, the difference is more in how it feels than, uh, I would say what you could actually see as the difference being on the paper. Maybe it's a little cleaner, a little tighter of a line on the 0.4, but really not that noticeable. As we wrap up, I just wanted to do a quick comparison between, uh, what I would consider to be a true black ink from this, uh, Pentel and the black ink from the friction, which is more of a dark gray. You could probably make out the friction being a true black, sorry, the uh, Pentel being a true black. This is the Pentel Glide Right Executive or something like that. And then this is the friction and that sort of lighter gray. It's definitely legible, but it is on the light side. It has a slightly green tinge to it, which is maybe just the lighting here, but uh, I don't know. I can't avoid seeing a little bit of green in there, which I don't really care one way or another about, but it might be a little bit annoying if you're, you have like more sensitive on the aesthetic side. So I think that pretty much covers it. That's the, <laughs> I'm forgetting the name. That's the friction ball knock biz from pilot. It's a nice pen. Uh, I would say on the expensive side, $20 is a little bit high end for this. I really do prefer it. In this one, this one, you get the, you know, still get some metal hardware. You get a good looking pen and you get the nice rubber grip. So for me, uh, the, the point knock or the ball knock is the way to go. 
if you want something in the executive class, then here you go. And uh, this is useful because if you said, hey, I'm just going to get the friction refill and put it in my executive pen, then obviously you can do that. But you have to find a pen that works with this slightly weird refill. That's not too much of a challenge. But then also you'd be missing out on the eraser top. And you can't use like a piece of metal won't work. You can't use hard plastic or anything like that. So you can't get any pen, like a you couldn't get a Pilot G2 pen body, put a Pilot friction refill in it, and really use it as an erasable, erasable pen. You would have to figure out the eraser on your own. So that is uh, worth keeping in mind that there are some reasons why you would want to get a friction-specific pen body. And then, uh, you know, I think there's one thing I wanted to test with the clip. Uh, let me see if this works. I think there's a little bit of actual, I don't know. There's a little point right here I've been meaning to investigate right there. And I don't know if you push that, it will trigger the pen or not to pop back. Uh, no, I don't think it does. That's just a fixed point so that the clip has something to grab onto. So false alarm there. But yeah, that is the friction knock. Pretty cool pen. And uh, at least it's nice to see some business class or executive class erasable pens being made. Thanks for watching.